Big Itch from China. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the Dreamcast with the 120 gigabytes internal hard disk. So nowadays we can buy basically anything from China. So who had thought what we can buy in Sega Dreamcast from China? So, but what are we going to get? That is something we're going to discuss in this video. And also I'm going to do some testing. How does it work and what are we going to get for our money? Because let's be honest, and Sega Dreamcast is a forgotten console. It's a little bit obscure nowadays. But nevertheless, Sega has a lot to offer nowadays. It's a great system. The Sega Dreamcast is one of my favorite systems ever. And I think a lot of you will agree with me. Nevertheless, let's see what we're going to get. So in this package from China, we are going to talk about the Sega Dreamcast with 120 gigabyte hard disk with pre-installed with Dream Shell. So, but the question first came to mind was, is this a good deal? Simply because you don't get a controller. I just put it over there just for show, but you're only going to get the system itself. I did know it's always a little bit of a gamble when buying stuff from China. So I just wanted to buy this thing and show you here on the channel. And so you know what you're going to get and what you can expect. So if it's crappy, so you don't need to burn your money. Let me do this for you. And if this thing is okay, we can always recommend it, of course. So, but what did they change? If you open it up, what you can see, there is no CD or GD drive inside. All right, but that's also very important with this EDA drive is that it's very hard to upgrade. I checked on eBay, I checked on Aliexpress. If you want to find a bigger one than 120 gigabyte, it's going to be, first of all, a big challenge. And second, if you even find one, these things are crazy expensive. And I'm talking about even the same price, almost like this, like a Dreamcast. All right, so when you're getting this thing in, this is what you're going to get, the system itself. There is only one thing that is always a little bit and it will stay a gamble. When you're ordering this thing, you need to say to the seller, I want to have the certain voltage input because we have in the 110 volt and the 230 volts. So because I live in the European zone, but there was a very positive thing. He sent me the right one. So I was very pleased about it, but it's something that sometimes he's messed it up and basically sends you the wrong one. And the other thing that is in gamble, how is the quality of your casing? As you can see over here, this thing looks very nice and give you a little bit up close. This thing doesn't have the color or this yellow color issue. And I'm very pleased he sent me a very nice one. I did notice when opening it up, you can see it over here. It's a little bit more yellow at the inside, but it's something we need to live with. So keep in mind, my friends, that when you're ordering it, it is one big gamble. If you look at the power supply, if you look at the color or the quality of the casing in general. What I think is pretty funny that he, uh, everywhere he used these little stickers that we don't need to open it up. So, but what I understand of this, what he did, not only he um, replaced the hard drive with the DreamShell PCB board, he also basically replaced the battery. So that is a common problem with these things. So he did a low, well, let's say refurbishing, but he checked it all and he fixed it all. So there's a little extra thing you're getting if you compare this with an original one you grab second hand. So yeah, warranty void my ass, man. I just want to see what's inside this me machine because I'm not making reviews, just show you the case itself. So what he already did is using one different screw. That is naughty, people. Yeah, maybe this sounds a little bit strange, but I want to. I basically just want to have four of the same screws. All right, so did he clean it up? No, not really. It's still filthy at the inside. Mm -mm -mm. Naughty, naughty, naughty boy. All right, so let's do a little bit of an overview and let's see what we're going to get. All right, so yes, I am naughty people. I open it up, I, ooh, I remove the stickers. But all right, so let's see what are we going to get. So here at the left side, we're having the power supply. At the front, we're finding the PCB board that connects the controller ports. We're having the battery, but it seems to be that this 
thing still owns the original battery. Hmm. All right, let's see, we have more. There will be the ventilator, and there's something we need to figure out if this thing is freaking loud. Sometimes it's like a freaking annoying vacuum cleaner. And here we have the PCB board itself with the hard disk. Oh, by the way, and this ribbon cable goes to the main board. I must say it looks that it's, everything is very clean over here, so I'm guessing he replaced the power supply with a new one or just did and refurbished. Hmm, very nice. All right, so here is the main board with the I'm guessing this is the Dreamshell mainboard that connects the hard drive to the mainboard. This thing contains all the files and what I know of the Dreamshell that is also possible to use an external storage, there are little dongles for it. But nevertheless we having here the complete mainboard and you can see 2019 so he basically built this thing. Maybe he just built it specially for me. Don't know, don't care, nevertheless just wanted to show you. All right, so let's put it back together. We're going to connect this thing old school to an, yeah, it's not really old school, but it's an old, an old LCD model. And just going to see if this thing does the job. We don't have a GD drive, so we can use the original games at the moment. Let's see if this thing sounds like a freaking vacuum cleaner, because some of these drinkers do. So, uh, stay tuned. All right, the moment of truth. Let's boot it up. Hmm, the first thing that I'm noticing, this thing is quite silent. No vacuum cleaner. And it seems to be, if I look at the logo, he is using the Paul version of the Dreamcast. Right, so it instant boots into Dreamshell. It's running on 4.0. Alright, so booting up take quite some time. And let's see what we're going to get. All right, so keep in mind, I'm just using this old LCD with combined with an RGB cable. Again, I always recommend you to buy an RGB cable for the best signal output. So as you can see, we having a lot of thing going around. Uh, let's see, we having the ISO loader. I'm guessing this is the ISO loader if you want to add new games, for example. So it doesn't it doesn't have the CD option, but as you can see over here. We having an SD, so I am guessing, but that's something I don't know for sure. If you're using the dongle, you can always add new games with the dongle. So that is a very convenient thing. All right, so let's go to the hard drive. It's doing some weird stuff. As you can see, it's glitching out a little bit. You can see that you go to the hard drive. Let's go back to the main menu. I think it needs to reboot. That's the reason why it takes so long. So there are some games pre-installed. Um, I think the only thing we can do is just play some games. And let's see how they are running. Are they glitched out? Is everything running on the dream show perfectly? That is something we need to find out. So as you can see, there are quite some games on it. So this is basically more, this is basically more like a plug and play Dreamcast. Could make and drink as many with this. All right, so that's the list. All right, let's play some games and let's see. All right, so I'm in the main menu, but I don't hear any music. All right, so this is the first problem I'm already noticing that there is no background music. The game always instant boots, so that is not a big problem. It seems to be running smooth. Right, loading time. Let's see how fast it loads up. It's in silent gameplay. Again, this game doesn't have any sound, so I don't know what's going on, if this is a problem with the GDI files they are using, but they just basically skip the audio files when adding the games. Ooh, 
Ooh, did you see the slowdown? Did you see the slowdown? That was not good. It's going to be a silent Giga Wing. Hey, we have some sound. So, alright, let's try this game. Alright, we have some music files, but not all of them are here. No. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this is what we're going to get with the Sega Dreamcast and the EDA hard disk. So first of all, I wish they just use, an, let's say, an SSD instead of this old school EDI drive. So, for example, if you want to upgrade it, this is going to be a big problem in the future. Better said, it's almost impossible. So if you have an idea, you can always leave it in the comments. Um, if you maybe can use a converter or something like that. So, but the games itself, it plays the games without any, let's say, big problems. The games I played, a lot of soundtracks are missing and my opinion is if the game doesn't have a soundtrack, it's a game without a soul. So that is a little bit of a bummer, to be honest. So if you look at the back, and here comes the other thing, maybe you can use a little dongle to add new games this way. But this is what you're going to get, let me know in the comments, what do you think of this plug and play Sega Dreamcast? It's not cheap. It's the cheapest option out there. But what I did notice is if I'm going to buy a Dreamcast separately here in my country, it's going to be expensive. So, in overall, I think it's a pretty good deal, but it's not perfect. And that is a shame. But I thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell. And if you have any questions, you can always leave it in the comments. And it would be great to see you in the next video.